No. That's <laughs> my Every time you leave this room, something beats the hell out of you. Sooner or later, it's going to finish the job. You knew about that. Sorry, Tara. I thought she was... I thought she was you. Don't worry. I made her pay for her lies. How much time is it supposed to take? It's not that I want to forget you. But I can't do anything. I can't eat. I can't think. I can't live without you. I haven't been to the gallery or anything. I just wander around thinking about you. Some would call it an obsession, but you understood us. We call them love. The kind of love you see in the old 50s romance vids. Quit listening to me, bitch. I wasn't talking about you. Tara, but how could you be here? It's not what you think, I was... I knew I would find you here. Come with me. No! I come here because this is the last place we were together. This is where you left me. This is where my parents left me. You owe me. This fucking lake. You took them all from me. But that's okay. I'm gonna make you give them back. I don't want you to take her, so take this one instead. All life on the earth came from the sea. It's time you return from the life of giving waters. You'll return her to me. I don't care how many it takes. I can bring more. I will bring you more. You either choke on all that I bring you, or return to me what is mine. Be the water of life. Reconnect the circle of life. Why did you love this place so much? Why don't you like it here? It's not that. It's just... It's just that we end every night here, no matter what we do. We always come back here. To look at this lake or beach, whatever you call it. I like it here. I feel safe here. At peace. You're a different person when you are here. You're all dreamy and sedated around this place. Whenever I'm here with you, I feel alone, like you are a million miles away. I, I can't help it. She's beautiful. She? It is just a fucking lake. I understand now. It's not that I'm alone when we come here. It's that you are with someone else. It's not a person. It's a lake. No, it, it's not that. It's that it's special. Have you been drinking again? You promised me you you stopped it. You know when it reacts with your medication. I wasn't. You can't handle a drink. It's like you go to a whole other planet. But I, I was not. Yes, yes, you do. Look, I'm going home. When you fucking decide to return to return to a little place we call Earth, give me a fucking call. I really I was not drinking. My father called this a fountain of youth. He swam here every night. At that time, the tide goes out, leaving the deep pool right between the rocks. I am like that pool, usually safe in my own environment. But at regular times, the larger world comes crashing in, flooding over the walls, washing me away. I wake up here a lot. Good thing I like it here. Even though 
It was here that took everyone. No, it gave me everything. At the cost of everyone I ever loved. It was one of those moments when the world comes crashing in that it drowned my father. My mother, on the other hand, she was lost without him. I loved her. So I let her hear his calling, her freedom, her getting to see father again. That cost me my sister and my own freedom. I guess the world does balance out in the end. She mulled me into the hospital for a while. She was lonely. I forgot where I left her. Maybe if I give to the pool, it will give me back Tara. That would fix it. It's only fair. Not a chance, Steve. You wackadoo. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. You love her? Yes. Yes, I do. Who? Tara or the lake? What? The dead belong to me. The dead? But Tara was... I know. The dead belong to me. Tara belongs to me. Stop thinking about her. About bringing her back. Once you killed her, she became mine. It was a beautiful show of the love you had for me. When you doubt yourself, it makes it all look ugly. It makes our love ugly. I didn't kill her. It was an accident. She belongs to me now. I want her back. I don't care what I have to do. I want her back. Well, you can't have her back. She's mine. You delivered from the realm of the living to the realm of the dead. You gave her to me. She was your gift to me. And I love you too much to give that up. Being here has taught me that anything is possible. My own muse, my little death, my lady of the lake. If I start to lose that, there's got to be a way I can have her back. You might as well try and take the best parts you find and put them all together. You could build your own perfect dream girl. What the hell? Fucking ghost. Need to find a therapist. Or a hitman. You can't have both of us. Gifts were exchanged, deals sealed. I've played my part. It's you that has not done his part. Like everything you do, you start it, but never finish. It's just that, well, lately I've been questioning my own memories. Some don't fit. Am I losing my mind again? <laughs> no, my dear. I think you need some exercise. You need to get out. Find a girl, do your thing. Uh, honey, what is it now? I was just thinking. I'll finish what I started for you. I owe you that. But, well, you being death, you just need their spirits. So, can I have the bodies? <laughs> it's unusual, but if it means that much to you, sure. Months ago, she died. What, what hurts the most is I don't know how it happened. I go to where you worked, the North End Mall. We used to love the corn, corn dogs there. I don't eat much of anything these days, just drink meals. I used to pick you up after work. Then I would drive you home, not always my home, but I love the drive anyways. I keep waiting. It's not like I think you're, you're, you're gonna come out, like it never happened, but I would like it if you, if you did. I've seen, you so, I've seen so much death that I should know your first name. At one time, I may have. It's like that word on the tip of your tongue in the heat of an argument. I think I've said it only to lose it in a sudden realization. Everyone else goes on with their lives. Like you never left. Why can't I? I guess it just proves that they didn't deserve you. But then, but they noticed you. Everyone did. I visited your mother the other day. She told me of when you broke your leg, trying your brother's skateboard. How you cried when my parents died. How much you loved me. We talked for quite a while. She served tea and cookies, and I could see it behind her smiling eyes. Her empty soul, like me. Hers were with you when you died. I'm sorry. I thought it would help me feel better, but it just made both of us feel worse. I felt so sorry for her. She misses you even more than I do. I guess she should, she's your mother. And too old to do anything about it. She should never have seen your funeral. She really wanted to see you again. She didn't fight much. The troubling thing is that as she exhaled her last breath, I think she knew it was coming. More so, I think she could see secrets to my own mysteries. Get out of my abyss, bitch! I yelled at her as she faded. I shouldn't have done that. It's not right to yell at your elders. I started seeing this girl for a little while. I guess the whole reason I tried it was because she looked like you, but that really began to bother me. It was like she wanted to replace you, to be you. Don't worry, I wasn't going to have that. 
I'd be damned if I'd let some freaky little bitch try to be you. She didn't like dancing. Remember our dance nights? It was as energetic as when we had sex. If I try again, they should be a dancer. At least the dance might bring in some peace. There's already somebody I'm watching. Oh, that's right. I was wondering if I should get you something at our one-year anniversary. It's in three months. I, I could give you some of my old artwork, like the old days. It's all about you anyways. For the most part, I tried to express our secret meetings, those stolen moments between time, when we met between deaths. Death hints at me that there may be a secret to our problem. How can we finally be together again? Until then, I am still a man with ample needs and weaknesses. I could die happy now. First, you pick me up in a limo. Then you take me to some secret club. After that, you ask me if I want to go back to your place. Against my usual policies, I say yes. So you drive me to your own boat, to your own island. Then in another limo, take me to your very own mansion. I know this sounds corny, but that was great. We have incredible sex, and now you're making me dinner. I think a second round may be coming your way, sexy. If I knew you were going to be this perfect, I would have said yes the first time you asked me. I always knew you would be worth the wait. That's why I didn't give up. This place is incredible. I know you said you were an artist, but I never met one that actually succeeded. So tell me, really, where did you get all that, all the money from? My parents died. I was the only child by blood. But my work does cover the cost of everything. Didn't Tara say the same kind of crap? I'm sorry, you must miss them. But at least it gives you a chance to do your artwork and don't have to worry about a roof over your head. I wish mine had. She keeps talking. Hold me, you'll slip up. I don't mean to pry into your life, it just amazes me. I've known a lot of artists, and some of them deserve to have all this, but it just seems that the world just gives them shit. I mean, it's obvious that most artists, even the most basic, has more skill and talent than a bank manager. Yet, who gets the big house, then what do they do? They wait till the artist is dead to buy his work. I can't do it. Not again. You can't make me. Fine, don't do it. I will. I'll kill the bitch. Elaine, come back. Don't run. I won't let him hurt you. Don't run from me. Like I'm some sort of monster. It's all in the name of love. I'm going to tell... It's all your fault. Good job, you lame dick. How now she's run away. How are you gonna save your girlfriend now? I told you to shut up. I don't think your threats were any help in frightening her off. She can't hear me, can she? I can hear you. So what do you think? Ooh, hadn't thought about that. Now what am what I do know. What? I know that unless you're after all the free anal sex you can handle, and then some, you better let me find her before she tells them all. Fine then, but I'm going inside and get some beer and, and get drunk. Just keep running, just keep running. This is like one of those dumb thriller vids. Now I am the barely dressed girl running through the woods. Now where did they all always screw up? Ow! My fucking toe! Well, you definitely do now.
Quick and quietly, follow me. I can hide you. Now you go down that path. There's an old shack down there. You hide in it. Well, I go get some. Go and get some help. Who the hell was that little girl? What is she doing out here? Why the hell am I listening to her? I can just keep running. I'll find my own help. Hey, there is an old shack down here. Maybe I'll... Here, Eileen, I found some help, just like I said. How did you know my name? Oh, shit. Deliver her soul to me. Shut up, bitch. I'm so tired of that scream. You can just shut up as well. It's still my turn. Did your mother teach you nothing? Anything, give, them more, give, give it a little more light for a second. Yeah. <sighs> A little hair of the dog. Damn it all to hell. Other than this killer hangover, I feel fairly clear today. Well, part of my specialty coffee and I'm up. Why did I set the alarm so damn early? Well, regardless, I'm sure I have some paintings to finish. I should also call my agent and see how well the tour of the gallery is. Uh, my last collection went on. Uh, how's it going, I wonder? Feels like today's going to be a special kind of day. I just feel full of energy. Maybe I should always get up early. And, and it's, it's an hour earlier, than, but it works. Well, I better order some more um, uh, Wicked Nicky to drink. Last night put me into my last cake. Hello, Lumberjack Ben. This is Stephen J. Montemore. Uh, I need, uh, in the long term, 10 cases. And I see. I'll be able to pick up one you have left, and I'll get the rest on Monday. Yeah, top dollar, no problem. Lucky me with one, that one. Old Ben, make sure the rest will be on stock. How was that? Whatever it was, it was moist and squishy. Maybe I didn't finish my dinner. Now I drunk in state. Wouldn't be the first time I didn't do, uh, that I did that. It looks like a fat little sausage or a. Oh my. Everywhere, how to get? Oh my! Oh my God! 
Oh my god! No 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 Shh calm down it's all good What blood everywhere how to get oh my oh my god Oh my god Oh no 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 Down, it's all good. I didn't mean to leave a mess. I set the alarm early so I could get up and finish, but seems to have woken you instead. But while you're up, we need to talk. Quit looking at the blood and focus on me. I'm worried about you. I think you may be going mad. This may not surprise you, but I'm worried about the voices you're hearing. Now, we go back, way back. I remember you when you had that problem with your family and I helped you then. I want to help you now. I'm worried about the little girl. We have something special. We are, in a way, one. But her? You say she is death. You wouldn't need to kill for death. Death does not need your help. So who is she? Also, you may notice that she's not here right now. She's never here in the morning. Why? Time moves on. So I must ask you about this crazy plan to make a body for your dead girlfriend. True insanity. How long have you been able to create life? should not talk about her like this. She'll hear you. She brought you back to help me. To help me deliver the dead, to deliver them from the living to her. What was that? I said I didn't clean up because I was not finished. Trust me. Take this needle cocktail. The needle has a combination of the various drugs you have from around the house. Entertainment as well as prescribed. Elaine is an identity that lives in the head. Just kill her identity. Leave the spark of life for us. We clean out Elaine and make room for Tara. You know she haunts you. She still lives. What the hell is wrong with me? My arms and legs are so heavy. Can't move them. My arms, my legs, where are they? What the hell have you done to me? Why didn't you just kill me? Why? Why am I still alive? I can't feel. What have you done to me? This can't be real. Why do you think I was going to kill you? You're, you're too important. I, I need you and... This will stop the pain. All of it. Fuck you. Fuck. I think so. You look a little repellent without any arms and legs and all. Glistening in blood and... And, uh, well, what do you know? An advantage to no legs. Your panties slide right off. Just like in the movies. No clumsy fumblings. Well, if you insist, I mean, who am I to argue? You don't need arms and legs for sex, and what you need is already here, ready to go.
I should start taking my medication. I mean, all this is just getting too complicated. First of all, I, I let death know that with my gallery show coming up, I, I don't have the time to get the dead for her. So she calls on an old friend of mine, the Deliverer. He helped me to deal with my family tragedy. But he doesn't seem to trust death. Just seems that there's, there's no loyalty anymore. She gives him a chance to help me and, and he complains. Then she starts asking about him. Is he working out all right? Although he was right, the whole idea of creating a body from parts and bringing them to life is crazy. This zombie possession idea is perfect though. Even back in grade school, he was always the smart one. And that's why I use to copy his answers. Hey LG Bay, how's it hanging? Low, long, and to the left. Good to see a non freak. I'm here to get that case of Wicked Nicky. You've already ordered from the rest? Of course, my man. How's the art world treating you these days? You know, better than the real world. Who are those girls you were talking to? Oh, them? Just more of them religious fanatics from the commune on the other side of the island. On some day trip to Eden, they said. Thought they all committed suicide. Except for their leader. He went mad and ended up at Micklin Asylum. At least that's what I heard. Hope you don't mind uh, waiting a uh, little while, man, while the uh, sky buzz is coming also comes to customers. Got her living, you know. No problem. Sometimes I just like to watch. Just see who's coming out and this way and, you know, flavor of what kind of people are coming here. I swear, by the time this is over, they will be thanking you. You'll see. This will be an easy one. Besides that, the mom's a total milk. I'm looking out here, but I, I don't see a thing. Oh, except uh, no one put a tarp over the car. You know those old gas burners rust in the rain? Why do I bother? I'll never know. Tell you about the next unlimited metahuman fight, and you tell me you heard a sound. Check, you say. Done. Next time you just say you don't want to talk. Not this make Mike look stupid game. If I try and sit and talk nicely, see what happens. I hope you're happy. You know, I still think you should sell that old car and get the last operation done. That would finish the implantation, a little facial reconstruction, and it's done. If you're done here, won't you go get some dinner cooking? I'm starving here. Just fine. I'll go get your dinner going. But we are finishing this conversation later. What do I care about how I look? I'm already married. Too late now. What's for dinner, Mom? Grilled cheese, honey. Now go back. <clears throat> Grilled cheese, honey. Now go back to your room. My little girl. Won't you come and watch TV with Daddy? I... I have to go clean my room. Maybe later, Dad. Okay? Sue, hon? 
I'll be busy for about an hour. So take your time. No hurry for me. Misty, my sweet thing. Time for some daddy time. Is it like he says? Like he says it is? Are they calling you my death? You know, I hate to agree with old Leatherface, but it's that and more. The, po the poster of children for the Just Kill Me Club. What the? You two agreeing? Weird. Hey, let's celebrate. Oh, you better believe I'm gonna celebrate. Just let me deliver them after I play with them for a while. I know to play with my food. Hopefully I also have some beer. Bring me all three of those souls for their own sake. For, for even the victims will only spread their pain. Odd. For once, tears not shed because of you. Tears that aren't from fear, but of love. Only love lost can hurt like that. Believe me, I know. More exactly, love betrayed. Her love has already hurt her more than you can. You're just here to finish the job. My darling, I'm here to take you from this pain. You've suffered enough, and my lady has sent me to end it for you. I am to deliver you from here. But my darling Misty, my baby, what of her? She deserves better than this. Will you leave her? Yes, you're right. She deserves better. But you failed to do so. But I ask, why leave her? Hasn't she suffered enough? Maybe even more than you. I'll tell you what. I'll make it easy for you. No knife. Not as fun, but your husband's sledge here will be make it quick. No more fun than an execution. Just quick. If you put your head down on the table, that you're free. Do it quietly, and he will not get a warning. Scream, and he will get a warning. And you set free, and you get revenge against him. Don't worry. I'll talk to him about leaving his tools out. Well, at least I will. Unless you warn him. You could even maybe scream and run for it. You might make it or get away in the confusion. What do you want? The choice is yours. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Daddy's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird does sing, Daddy will never buy you anything. Now to get to work. That was nice of her. No damage to the arms and legs. Good. Didn't you hear me? I said I have time for a little daddy-daughter bonding. Let's go, little girl. Fine. Just let me get my toys off the bed and get these curtains closed, okay? I'm ready. No, I'm not. 
falling for it this time. Since you wear so many belts, you can undress yourself. And you can stop worrying about your mother. She is just jealous of you. She lost her girlish charms long before you came along. Mommy shouldn't be jealous of her own daughter. Shut up, out there. You're in for it now. I agree, my little Misty. But what are you going to do, huh? She just wants the kind of love and attention I give you. She should be happy knowing she makes such lovely babies. Know what I mean, love? Yes, Daddy. I know I'm forgetting something. Let's see. Follow her home. Sneak in and kill her. Get maximum splatter for both of her... Get both her arms and leg. I need a beer. Don't worry. I'll get it myself. Sorry if I seem a little off today, but it's been a rather dry day for me. I may even be sober. What? No beer? Sue, what am I going to do? Oh, oops, sorry, did it. <laughs> oh, shit, your husband's almost, almost forgot sometimes. I'm surprised I get anything done. Oh, shut up. Your mommy tells me about how he can stretch far enough to pass a baby, so... <sighs> Can't hurt that much. But I'm still sore, Daddy. Please. Besides, your mom says I have a penis the size of a 15-year-old boy, so it should fit nicely in you. Perfectly. Besides, it's not like this is your first time. Ow! 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 It's okay, it's okay. It's over now. He's dead. Don't worry, it's just the twitching a bit. My dad did the same thing. And he was an original AOD. Weird ones always twitch for a bit. It seems they are afraid to die. What's your name? Misty. Hello. Don't let the mask fright you. I, I'll, I'll take it off. That's a beautiful name. Uh, now listen to me, Misty. This is very important. My name is Steve, and I'm going to deliver you tonight. Where? Uh, to the cleansing water. Don't worry, you'll find peace. Are you going to kill me? What is going on? Are you going to kill me? Why would I do that? I don't know. I heard rumors. Rumors? Yeah, that you drowned both your brothers and the in that bay you love so much. I also heard... You murdered both your parents. It's even rumored you killed that kid. 
Lloyd Herzman. That weird kid who always used to talk about the Toxic Avenger? They say you killed him because he was telling people you eat human flesh. Who have you been talking to? You know, they. They say a lot, don't they? Do you believe what they say? Well, Steve, I do know you are a very sick person. What? Well, you got these weird ideas. You know what I mean? I don't know what I mean. I don't know exactly what. But sometimes you just freak me out. When? I don't know, a couple times. If I'm so fucked up, why are you with me? Because I love you. I know you can't help it. The whole artist thing. You know, but I just want to help you. No, you don't. Is that why you love that bay by your home? Because you put your families in there? Everyone I love ends up there. Even you, Tara. Even you. Someday, even me as well. How did I get here? Where? How did we get here? And why are you still alive? Are you going to kill me? Can't remember shit. I constantly keep blacking out. I keep walking into places I have no memory of going to. Or how I got there. Or why. Every girl I talk to turns into my dead girlfriend. And that one's really pissing me off. This woman. Well, actually, she's more of a young lady. But she's death herself. She lives in a bay by my house, like a lady of the lake. And she refuses to give me back Tara, my dead girlfriend. Well, she stays immortal by taking life. But she wants me to do it for her, so maybe if I do it enough, she'll give me back Tara. But I don't want to do this. I want to work on my art. I want some shows coming up soon. I'm not ready. Talk about stress. So she gets this guy that lives in my head that killed my family. Which is great. At first leaves me the time I need for my art. As well as making new body for Tara. But why I need all those parts. I mean, she's dead. Her body would be no good. But now death and the delivery guy living in my head, they keep arguing. That... Keeps playing into my Jack the Ripper complex. That's a wonderful story, Sugar. But what can I get you to eat? Bob's are the meat, where the meat is always sweet. No natural animals were ever heard in the making of any of our meat products. Well... Fucking technophobe. Can you believe that bitch? I told her I may still love her, but I can't stand to look at her. It's not my fault. Enough modifications already. Listen, love, you can't just sit here. You need to order some food already. Um, I don't know, Robert. Uh, she may be your ex-wife and all, but uh, I think she's still pretty hot. You know, for a cyborg and all. I don't think you want me reading your minds. So someone will have to order. Well, I'll, um... I'll have the chicken cordon bleu hickory seared with a glass of red wine, please. Okay, one blue chicken and a red wine in a sippy cup. You look like you need it. And as for you, sexy? Yeah, I know. The whole death to you pot thing? But once that much replacement's done, I think that should count, you know? She shouldn't have to start over. Fine, I'll have a piece of cherry pie and a chocolate milk. 
I also have a glass of anything at least 151 proof, and another empty glass the same size, both large. I don't know, hon. It may be a little late for the cherry pie, but I'll go see what I can dig up for you. So, what's your name? Misty. Yep. So, um, when did you become a serial killer? After the third one, I, um, hey. I am not a serial killer. I am the deliverer. I'm sorry, I didn't know you had a title and everything. So when did you become the delivery man thing? Has it been long? Tara, why would you want to know about... I'm not sure I have these holes in my actual memory. I, I recall bits and pieces, but no actual linear time. No line of events here. Uh, the doctors at Micklin Institute said it all started when I was a child. But I have so many mental blocks. My parents and brothers all went missing one day, and, and I was alone, evaluated and sent to Mecklen Institute. Had some laughs, met some people. Family ended up dead, found out they were delivered. I get the funds and buy my way out of the Institute, where I spent most of my time higher asleep. Great therapy there. Well, went home to restarting my artwork, met death, started working for her, then rediscovered the Deliverer somewhere in all that, met and lost Tara, not sure, maybe killed her. Oh, reminds me to pick up the medicine or Dr. Danis will send out the police to do a welfare check on me. It couldn't be all that bad. What about this? Tara girl. Tara! You! You can never be Tara! Never be Tara. Why would I want to? S Why would I want to? She's dead and all. Good point. <laughs> Wouldn't have been the first time. Just last week at this place, uh, Dante's thing got out of hand. Uh, left a huge mess. This guy attacked a figment of my imagination. You know, death. What else could I do? World full of crazies. That's crazy. Me and my friends were going there that night, but we were late. Huzzah! One of those are mine. I'll need it so I, I can choke those, these pills down. No drugs. <laughs> no problem. Excuse me, but these are morning after pills. You see, when you shoved that broom handle up my dad's ass, he came inside me. So unless I, unless I wasn't a son brother, I will be taking these. Sorry. Tara was always good to me. She, she kept me normal. I want is to be with her forever. I think it was about seven years ago, I, I met her at the party Jim was throwing. He introduced us. We just hit it off. We started spending all of our time together. Not doing anything, just being together. I don't want to stay dead. I want to stay alive. I want to resurrect or reincarnated anything. Hell, I don't even care what I come back as. I just don't want to stay buried, buried in the dirt. Are you afraid? I want to live. I want to do things. I can't just be anything. How about you? All I have to look forward to in death is seeing my family. That's fucked up. You don't know my family. You're being serious, aren't you? Would you like to see where I want to be buried? 
Where? Right up here. What, so we could bury you? Hardy har har. No, really, why? Why do you think we came here? See a light over there? That's my family home. Below it is a small coral bay at a beach. I think I can see it. Right at where the grass ends and the beach begins, right there. That way I'll always have my feet in our place and my head in another, walking the beach, head elsewhere. Cool. Isn't it? I come here a lot to me alone to think. You're the only one I've ever brought here. So you pretty much so you pretty much fell in love with her on that first night. Yeah, I did. She helped me feel normal. How I think others feel. Like I belong to a group. Hey, our tricks are here. They came a while ago. But I want to say I think it's sweet to want her back so much. What happened? Yeah, she was my savior. But that didn't always last long. She would always be off doing some sort of drugs. Seemed like some cycle of life thing, but it, it was it was at another one of Jim's famous parties. He called it the Winter Break Show. All his season's tours would matter on this night's networking. We meet with all of his regulars, his clients, everyone. Always another party, huh, dude? Like, fuck, there is! Man, this is great. You let me do this, have this old place of yours that your father had, we're set, man. Now, only do we have tours for you set up already? Uh, we have people who want to rent the gallery space. Great, where's Tara? In the back, man. He was about to lie to me. I always was making him too much money for that. The back room meant for the regulars. We all know these type of people, the regulars. All four of them hung out in school. When I went home, me and Jim actually got lives. While Frank and Matt here, they live their lives. They have decided to graciously help us live our lives because we have no time to do so. I wonder why? Sometimes they seem to have gotten given up. But like parasites. These two had taken on the habit, but my problem was on parts of my life they were living. I don't share. My dad built this place, so always had a flair for the classic. I already told you, I am the deliverer. I deliver the living to... I know you already told me that. Why did you kill my parents? Why mine? Because I needed the body parts. But why ours? Why did you pick us? I know serial killers have some sort of method to picking their victims. What made us so special? Nothing. Nothing? What do you mean, nothing? You were just someone I followed home from the mall. I think you were someone important. You do think you're someone important, don't you? So what now? Are you just going to kill me and that's that? Hello, I need human flesh. You're a human. I don't know. I thought you were opening up to me. You wanted to know, so I told you. Don't kill me. Maybe I could help you. Have you been listening to me? Do you understand what you're going? what's going on? Death will not give me her back. So that means I have to make her out of whatever I can lay my hands on. The only way you can help me is by giving me your skin. I'm willing to give myself to you. Alive. But all you could do is talk about some dead bitch. What? Don't ever call yourself Tara, bitch. What the fuck do you think possibly you could offer me that she can't give me? How about a fucking pulse? All my life since I was a little girl, all I wanted was someone to come and rescue me from that fat bastard. 
I used to pray every night after he'd left the room for someone to come and kill him and take me away to a new life. I thought you were him. <clears throat> what happened back there? Lose your nerve? Do you still want your precious Tarek? Or are you falling for live girl? You're really moving up in the world, going from necrophiliac to child molester. <clears throat> well, at least Misty is still alive. Did you ever think of that poor girl, Eileen? Back at your home? Probably not. Huh? Excuse me, but you told the girl everything. You spilled your whole pathetic life story. Now you're going to let her live, eh? Do you think she'll keep quiet or talk about it? When the police start asking que her questions about the death of her parents, or you, really think she'll protect you? No, but I will. It won't take long for the cops to find you. Shut the hell up! Well, I found it rather interesting that artists tend to clean their work area long before doctors do. You want what part of your last project to contaminate the people? I always fail to understand that true artistry is the first science. It's the oldest science. We understood the body long before they did. Yet they laughed as they stood there so superior. As we create, they mutate. They call it life. I had a teacher once who told me that when the aliens came, art is all the aliens would have to judge us by when they found our dead world. In time, it was art that will define our race, not their damn science. Rub a dub dub three men in a tub. <laughs> I realize how gay that song is. You were going on, my little living dead girl? I don't know. I hurt a lot. Um, where am I? I'm so surprised. You, you've been through a lot. I, I have your medicine. It will be good. Who are you? Me? I'm your boyfriend, Steve. That's why I'm working so hard to save your life. In a way, give it back to you. You fell down a long way. Who am I? Your name is Tara. Is it the medicine that keeps making me fall asleep? That and blood loss, my dear, it's for the best. You don't need to be awake for this. She's almost there. She almost questions her identity. See, Steve, I told you this would work. It would have been easier if you had remembered to bring home Swar Dardanos' drugs. You ever stopped to think about it? If those drugs were doing this to her, what were they doing to you? Maybe that's why she showed your little girl 
death. Maybe that's why she showed up was because of that. Shut up, deliverance. You know, talking about her may make her show up. Then what's you going to do to explain this? Why are the two of you personalities, uh, my personalities, working so hard against each other? She's not one of us. I just don't know where she came from. You paranoid bastard. Let's just get those new arms and legs on her. That way, when she catches on, it'll be too late, and we will be done. What was that? I'm just cleaning you up and getting you ready for surgery. Just go to sleep, my dear. That which should be done is twine rippled cords overlay, flesh arching, marching, muscles taut, stretching, fingers slowly opening, grasping at nothing. What are you trying to say? Penetrate darkness, eyes wide, the shiver of disembodied laugh, warm breath against chilled skin, a gliding touch of fingertip against the warm wetness. Slow breath, searching sound. Torso thrusts upward, pleading for contact. The hiss of the whip echoing in your mind. Well, Deliverance, it's been a while since I've heard a poem from you. Is it one of your own you wrote? No, it's a piece called Dark Memory from an early 21st century poet called Madame Butterfly. I heard it while I was at Micklin. Yeah, I heard a lot of things at Micklin as well. Been trying to forget it all ever since then. I bet they would have something to say about this little project. So have you heard for your Lady of Death? No. Steve, we need to kill her soon. Kill death? We serve death. You can't kill death. Who would pick up the dead when she died? See, the whole thing's crazy. Think about it. But Steve, isn't what you're doing just that? With this, you're defeating death. Besides, I can deliver her. Let me deliver her for you. That's true. It is your job. Ah. Uh, why? Ow, ow, ow. Ah, oh, Sleepy Beauty Awakens. Him. Injections must always be done. Why do my shoulders feel so heavy? They're probably not used to having your arms again. Don't worry. It's all rest and recovery from now. And remember, now on, I'll help. Although you may have given up on us, I never did. I'm here for you, Tara. That name sounds familiar. Are those my legs? They are now. Be happy, my Tara. This is your last treatment. No more. It has to be. If you think so, it's for the best, Steve. That's right, my dear. You are Tara, and I'm Steve. And we will live happily ever after. I awaken again. It feels like it's been four days. Something happened to me, but I can't remember what. Only a name. Tara. Yeah, Tara. Well, you followed me to where you were always due to find me at. The beach. My beach. Our beach. Whatever. You found me. and started to explain to me that I was wrong. That what I saw was not there. I guess I was seeing things. I thought you were crazy. Who the hell is this guy? In hindsight, with what I've done since then, maybe you were right. We argued. You pushed me. I pushed back. You fell. Tried to catch you, but I failed. And now I have saved you. Now that we both know better, it will work. We will survive. 
Steve. Why can't I move my arms? Yes, my darling Tara. My legs. I can't move my legs. I just finished fixing them, giving them a little time to heal. I brought you into your favorite room to recover. You remember your gallery? I, I put up all your favorite paintings of you. you. Do you remember? They're to help you. You know, to remember who you are. I would have used mirrors, but they've all been lying lately. I can't get you anything. Anything at all? Well, then, I'll just let you rest. I don't know why you think you can hide anything from me. I've been in your mind. And I must say, it's a filthy place. I get, I get here through you, through your mind, yet you still try to hide things. Through my mind, or from it, there is a difference. Me and Deliverance have been talking. I have a few problems with your existence. It seems that sometimes you're here and other times you're not. When you're gone, it's like you're someplace else. Did you know that you follow a schedule, always showing up at the same time? If you're coming from my mind, that's great. I like my identities divided. It allows me to compartmentalize my thoughts, to think out loud. But if you're coming through me, that makes you an outsider. You know what we do to outsiders? That doesn't matter now. I just get in there and complete our deal. Give me back Tara. <clears throat> so you made so you made yourself a Tara meat puppet. Was it at all worth it? I know you enjoyed her. Tara's still dead and she belongs to me. What are you going to do with another corpse? You should not have killed Tara in the first place. I didn't kill Tara, it was an accident. It was no accident, Steve. I took her. Do you hear me? What? I took her. What? Do you hear me now? I took her. She was making you soft. When you were with her, you didn't even want to kill. You didn't even visit me. I depend on people like you. You were mine before she came along. You are mine. You do my work. You have no choice. What do you mean? I have a choice. I never wanted to kill anyone. It just happened. Most of the time, I don't even remember doing it. Isn't that cute? The little man is trying to justify his love. Poor little man, don't worry about our choice. You don't have one. You belong to me. What did you say? Oh, yeah. You are my deliverer. No. She took you from me, so I took her from you. You're better off with me. The, the second I decide to end your life, you know your soul is going to hell. You have no choice. I have a choice. The only choice you have is hell, because that is the same time I'll let Tara live, where you can live with me and do my work. <coughs> Help. Uh, was that so hard? That's what we call free will. You always had it. It's those choices that got you in trouble. But you made the wrong ones. But I'm still proud of you. You've come so far, the doctors will be impressed. But you still need to pay for your choices for those you have hurt, for hurting them and me. But first, to see Tara. You see, I keep my promises. Unlike some others, I know. Be kind to her. She's been through a lot. I don't know how much you remember. Well, at least not yet. 
but you can trust me more than Steve. You seem to be a bit of a mess, my dear. Let me help you, though. I think I'm drunk. It all keeps spinning. I met you once. You called me Elaine once. Is that my name? Am I? That's not important anymore. I'm going to give you a makeover. Well, actually, a very deep tissue makeover. You'll feel like a new person afterwards. It hurts. It hurts. Don't worry. That's how you know it's working. Believe me. You have a lot of current memories that you would do better not to have, unless you like pain. You have pain? Sorry. No. Ah, uh, no you are. No hiding now. Sorry. That's okay, love. Now identity is a question of behavior. What makes up your identity? Currently, I believe it's our experiences and memories. These are information, and information can be transferred. So are electrical impulses. The impulses of our... That's our instincts. <clears throat> then to wipe the original. Otherwise, then you can be rejected. What? Don't worry about it, darling. All that mouthful of words was to distract your logical side as I tucked them anew. Who you were is too damaged, while what you are told to be is foreign to you. So we will split the difference. Good thing I kept the original identity spark. I just happened to be there when she had her little accident. Or, or should I say, your little accident. Right, Sarah? Yes. You're such a good little girl. I don't think I've been beaten that badly since fifth grade. Back when I got sent home fighting, my dad beat me really good back in those days. He was a war hero, so I guess it was okay. Well, that's a really screwed up way to teach me how to not get into fights. Probably something there by therapist for that. Never thought about it. Let's see, that was, what was that poem my mom used to say to me? Pain is delicate and silky in nature, warm to the touch and salty to the tongue. Millions die in desperate death, hungry for the competition. It's amazing this shit never comes to you when you're actually in therapy. Only comes after you go home. Back to finish. Teaching me. No, actually, I'm here to say goodbye. I've already been through my own hell. I'm not going through yours as well. I'm deaf, not psyche. What? So she's alive? Yes, that was the deal. Just remember you're part of the deal. This time, before the next sunrise. Farewell. I loved you. It was a fun time. Steve, help. I'm here, Tyra. I'm here. I remember. I was falling. And you. Don't worry, love. I, I brought you back. My arms. My legs. I can't move them. Why can't I move my arms or legs? Why? Praise the death. She gave me back... Give you back to me. Oh, dear Tara, you've been mostly dead for almost a year. Even miracles have limits. But together we'll heal you. Don't worry about it, Tara. Mostly dead? How did I end up mostly dead? Was I alive or dead? All I remember, la all I remember last was where we were at. Best not to think on it. Oh, of course not. You never want to talk about that. What I'm going through. We were at the damn hill of yours looking over the bay. You looked so depressed. I decided to give you a little loving to help that bad memory become good. And then you. Please don't. Then you lifted me off you. And you threw me off the fucking cliff. You fucking bastard. You killed me. No. That's how you end up mostly dead. Having you as a boyfriend. I'm dead and you did it. Did you hear something? No. Yes, me yelling at you for fucking killing me. I... I guess what they all said about you was true. You did kill your parents. 
And those others. How did you get out of the out of Micklin? Some little girl helped me, but that's not important right now. I don't want you to be out here. There it is again. It's the door. I better go get it. You wait right here. I'll be back. Oh, like I have a fucking choice. Look at me. I'm running away, asshole. Why is everything not going like it should? I did everything right. Pag, you're it. Please like bonus rounds of the Thrill Kill ki Lifestyle game. Once dead, they always have a gun. Makes the next kill easier, but a little less fun. I need a drink. The look on his face as I close the door, pure gold. Damn, my left arm hurts. Not a bad shot for a uniform. That other guy, my, my dad talked about them once after the war. Weatherman? You mean whether he's human or a robot? I haven't expected him to get up again. He didn't twitch or anything, like Missy's bastard father. Why were they here? Damn, I'm quite a mess. I thought I would have more time. That's right, my young apprentice. You don't have... You don't. They, they have faith in death. They have faith of death and freedom when it comes when you accept it, when you can't control it. So I see. I control the form it takes. I decide how I die. So deliverance. Deliver me to the final lesson. Time is short. Paper or plastic. What? I'm serious now. What is the last secret? Civil, Yanus said. Passes or active participation in your death. Who should kill you and how? That's an easy one, me. You learned well. Take me to my new student. Finally, by Tara. Hello, Tara. I don't know if you remember me, but we met once before with a friend. Where is the buzzing coming from? Tara, we need to talk. In your hand. What is that? It looks familiar. I know I've seen it when... You're wrong. Sorry, Tara. But you never saw this before now. I'll be leaving soon. But I'm going to leave my friend here with you to help you. I'm sorry, but you see things have come up and, you know, debts to pay... Well, a smile first, then, since you've come back to see me. No. A smile is because every time you leave this room, something beats the hell out of you. Sooner or later, it's going to finish the job. You say you smiled when I left to remind me of when you sh why I should come back. Well, that still beats the real reason I used to smile when I left the room. Or at least when you thought I left. 
any single time you fucked one of my so-called friends, justify my actions against you. You knew about that. Worse than that, the others knew about it. So they had to go on and look at me. They had one on me, and they were better than me because they thought they knew something about me. I didn't know, but I had to, like, play strong and act like I didn't know. The other guys made me appreciate you even more. Everything was so screwed up. If I didn't talk to someone, we would, we would have been over with it a lot sooner. I would have preferred that our love was allowed to die. That one day after the first time you cheated. I think that you may understand that now. You, now that you've enjoyed your extra days. Rising. I think the deaths get a little over dramatic. I get it, it's my time. All life on the earth came from the sea. It's time you return to life giving water. Let me light